Yo, yo, welcome back for another smoker review. This is one I just built for my friend Quentin Van Horn, who owns Point and Flat Barbecue here in town. Uh, he's always set up at Friction Beer and Discourse Brewing and a couple places uh, on the Kansas side. He does a few things over here, but um, I've been working on this one off and on for about two and a half months, about two, about yeah, almost two months in uh, one in one week. But uh, took me a while to get it done. I had some of my own pop ups going on, and, and then. Uh, went on vacation for a week and a few things, so um, it took me a while, but I had knocked this thing out. And I just want to kind of give you a quick run through of what I did. Um, this is very similar to the 330 um, that I built for my buddy Seneca out in uh, Denver, who's got uh, Gantz KC style barbecue. If you're ever in Denver area or Aurora, which is actually where he lives, I think he pops up out there sometimes. So check him out as well. Um, so I'm going to do a quick walkthrough on this one kind of tell you what I did differently and uh, why I like it and um, some things that uh, I would probably just continue on uh, that I changed from that one and some other smokers that I built in the past too. So let's do a quick walk around. All right, let's do a quick walk around starting from the back here. So um, my buddy Marcus Haskins, who owns Mark Customs Garage, he also has a YouTube channel. Uh, he does some really sick work on these Toyota uh, parts that he makes, and he, he comes up with his own original designs and makes them at home, and they're freaking awesome. So he's got some people around town sell, uh, rocking his gear as well, but he cut these out for me. Um, I am in the market right now to get a plasma table. I'm looking for like a 4x4 four four or 4x3, four so if y'all got any suggestions and things that you like, I've been looking at the, just from a budget standpoint, looking at the uh, Langmeyer Crossfire Pro, and then I've also been looking at the Eastwood um, 4x4 that comes like all ready to go plug and play type deal. So quick walk around here, start with the firebox. Um, I put these latches on just because when you're riding down the road, you don't want stuff flopping open. I did one um, on each door as well, but show you this real quick. So this is wrapped. That's a part of a 250 gallon smoker. Whoop, got hard to tell inside there this thing is 32 inches long 32 inches wide and uh it's got insulation all around the outside and stuff in the corners and everything so it should hold temperatures freaking awesome because we get some pretty harsh winters around here um but uh that should be do him really really well as far as uh, keeping temperatures on this long cooking chamber so that last 330 i did was one that was considered a long cap 330 so the caps the uh the seams were probably pushed in i would say eight inches so it was a little bit shorter cooking chamber and this one here is a little bit longer that neighbor stopping by hey that looks amazing. thanks man <laughs> <laughs> all right just had a neighbor stop by i wanted to talk about this but um i kind of forgot where i was at i think i just was going down the line here so um this one here so my buddy marcus did that custom uh cut out on his table i'm about to get my own hopefully soon uh the thing i did different on this trailer this trailer is only 46 inches wide um, as far as on centers with the trailer rails. The last one I did was uh, 60 inches, and I'm really liking the skinnier profile a lot more than I did that big one. So it just seems like it's a lot easier to work with, um, especially for me doing this in my garage. So uh, this saved me a lot of space getting side to side. I mean, I don't move my welder around and getting everything. So this one here, I was specifically asked, could I make the fenders tuck in a little bit tighter? And that was not a problem. I went ahead and figured out how to do that. It makes it look a little bit cleaner. He also wanted black rims. Um, so I saved him probably 220 bucks by just getting the rims that came with the trailer kit and uh, just painting them black myself. I just did the old, if you were around my age, you probably have done the old uh, trick with the index cards and, and painted them. So it turned out pretty good. This is sitting on a 46 inch on center axle, 3,500 pounds. Um, I, the placement of it, I placed this one back probably about seven more inches and then, then that last one. And it seems like it, it wasn't even bouncing at all. Just riding down the road, freaking awesome. So let's uh, let's get into the inside of this. Another thing that's a little bit different from this one uh, compared to the last one that I built is this one here has a continuous rack on the bottom. So I'll get a close up of here in a second. but. Oh, the other thing that's pretty cool is that these, uh, these, the things you pick it up with, with the, with the, the tractor or whatever you want, I've measured perfectly. So these serve as perfect door stops. So that's pretty cool. But, um, on the bottom rack here, it's a continuous rack all the way down and the cook chamber from seam to seam is 92 inches. That's freaking, that's a lot of space. So with the shorter capped 330s, you definitely get more cooking space than you do on the long cap ones. So, 
um, continuous face all the way down. And then of course we did slide outs on the top. And uh, on my 288 sitting in the backyard, we have about the same on top, but he's uh, he's just he's got about ten uh, nine or ten more inches of cooking space all, all the way uh, across the whole top and bottom. <laughs> but slide out perfect. Those things are freaking awesome. Tons of space. When you're doing a thirty inch smoker, like a it could be a two fifty, it could be a two eighty eight, could be a three thirty. Um, whenever you set your racks. <laughs> you set your racks in flush at the bottom here if you measure up from here to the top space at 10 inches it gives you plenty of room i can put seven slabs of ribs on my top racks and it's got you got plenty of room to reach in and my buddy quentin who's coming to pick this thing up he's like six four so he's i'm like maybe five ten on a good day when my back hurts i'm about five eight but uh <laughs> it's a lot of whoops lot of room for him so he's been cooking on a 500 he borrowed from a buddy um, for a while and he's just looking forward to getting his own now so I'll do another uh, we'll go over here to the smokestack and nothing crazy different about the smokestack I'll just pick this up so folding stack um, I'll mine it if you remember right I did the eight foot stack which is just kind of absurd and not to mention it's quarter inch thick so it is freaking heavy to try to pick it up um, but trying to pick that thing up in the back it just stays up I'm not messing with it I wouldn't want that one for him every time he's going to pop up somewhere to have to mess with this thing right so something i've done been doing too is i like i, I always like to build the oversized collector um but i've been putting the stack the actual stack on top so you see i'm getting a lot cleaner and then welds too but um i like putting it on on top now instead of building it in to a point down here for some reason i just think it flows better but also i think it looks a lot better too so foldable stack. I picked up, actually picked these hinges up on Amazon and I like them a lot. The bullet style ones you can get from Frank um, on the Smoker Builder side are pretty good too. Oh, that thing kind of fell off to the side. Yeah, liking the horseshoe handle. And this is the only place with a six foot stack that I could put the, the holder for that. So worked out pretty good, but um, I'll kind of go around the trailer and show you what I did there. Um, and we'll just keep so I did this with 3 16 three inch channel. Um, it seems really sturdy, no problems at all with that. I built another one just like this and it made it all the way to Denver, no problem. So um, liking the way this tongue turned out, I tried to make it as long as possible. So I had to find the proper angle on the, uh, on the tongue here, um, the hitch to make this thing work. And I think it's a 32 degree one. I have to look it up if you have any questions. I could sure I could find it. But I always run the center beam right down there Make sure it's nice and tight, perfectly straight, level. There, hit my corners. Got them nice and clean, and then all the way down. Basically, I figure out where my my centers need to be so I can set that right on top. I might start taking them legs off. Excuse me. <laughs> I might start taking them legs off as soon as I get my plasma table and setting that thing down um, on a, like a holder essentially that I can cut out with a 30 deg uh, inch degree radius. So it'll look nice and clean like that, but fenders attached straight to the frame, all the way down. Just, I, oh yeah, the other plan that I had for this one was I was gonna put the wood storage on the tongue and the tongue ended up not being long enough and I did not like having the trailer jack on the side like that. So I ended up putting the trailer jack right in the dead center. And then I put him a small wood storage right here. You could probably, I was telling him, you could probably have enough wood in there to do a, um, like a short rib cook, maybe like six hour cook, but you're not gonna get a get a full day's worth of cook out of that. But he's got a truck, you could always throw some wood in the back too. But anyway. So as I've mentioned in other videos, this uh, this 330 size is about the max I can do right now. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of my garage door opener and putting one on the side and then building a gantry crane in here. So I will be able to get up to a 500, but um, if anybody wants a 500, then I would figure that out. Um, I've had a couple guys request one, but never really followed through with it yet. So uh, 330 is pretty much my max. I can kind of, this is the max I can maneuver around the garage too by myself. Uh, this one here had to use a freaking breaker bar the whole time, just like my 288 to kind of bounce it around. I've got a 250 I'm about to finish up too. But um, anyway, this is my max. If you're interested in anything from a 120, 150, um, 
250, 288, or 330. It can be skids, it can be um, on a trailer, it can be on casters, whatever you want. Just send me a message uh, through my website, kansascitysmoke.com, uh, or even the best place to contact me, honestly, is gonna be through Instagram. Uh, I'm on there quite a bit too, messaging with people, talking, talking shop, doing different things. So um, if something like this interests you and you wanna get something for your small business or you've got a, a just, you just wanna have a badass cooker to put in your backyard, uh, hit me up, kansascitysmoke.com, um, and just we'll, we'll talk shop a little bit, kinda see what I can do for you. So like, follow, subscribe. I got four more builds in the queue this year. Um, you know, I'm a smaller rack, as they say, but I'm trying to build myself up. Um, I got my food truck still, too, and I'm doing pop-ups every weekend. I've been selling out like crazy the last three pop-ups in a row. Uh, it's just been an awesome, awesome journey so far. So if you've got any questions about the food truck game or the smoker game, hit me up and we can talk. Appreciate y'all.